three of the top ten uh, drugs in terms of class and, and sales in 2013 uh, were arthritis drugs. And I think a lot of people would say, well, the baby boomers are getting older, and once you get older, those things start happening. Um, is, that the, is that the cause? No. Um, you don't get uh, arthritis because, you, you know, you, you have a, a drug deficiency, right? You don't get uh, high blood pressure because you have a, a hydrochlorothiazide deficiency. You don't get heartburn because you have a Prilosec deficiency. Um, the increased incidence of arthritis uh, goes along with everything that we've been talking about, right? Because your bones, for instance, and your joints are attempting to generate new bone and joint tissue all of the time. By the way, this is how the... Uh, uh, Osteoporosis bisphosphonates work, you know, Fosamax and Boniva. Well, Fosamax and Boniva are drugs called bisphosphonates, and bisphosphonates work by putting the part of your body that chews up old bone to sleep. There are two processes happening in your body all the time. Your body's chewing up old bone with a cell called an osteoclast, and it's laying down new bone with a cell called an osteoblast. It's happening all of the time, out with the old, in with the new, out with the old, in with the new. So when an MD sees a person with thinning bones, rather than stimulating the production of new bone cells, rather than giving the patient nutrients that the bones need to make new bone cells, rather than supporting and promoting the body's ability to generate new bone tissue, the MD says, no, 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 no. What we're going to do instead is deliver a synthetic man-made drug at a profit which puts the cells that are chewing up old bone to sleep. So guess what happens? Old bone accumulates in the bone. So your DEXA scan looks better and your bone density looks better, but now your bones are filled with old bone. Your body was trying to get rid of the old bone because old bone is weak. This is why once you've been on a bisphosphonate, there's a brand new class of uh, class action lawsuits. It's called spontaneous fractures. Now when women who have osteoporosis, or even men, have been on these drugs for long enough, their bones are so filled with old bone that they snap like dry tinder. When you, you step off of the curb onto the street and your bone snaps into what's called spontaneous long bone fracture, and it's the latest uh, uh, class action lawsuit. You know, it's a, this is why you don't see Sally Field on TV pitching uh, Boniva anymore because the drugs are hurt people. Now, how this relates to arthritis is the simple notion that there are processes in your body right now that are trying to help your joint to be strong. But what does your body need to do that? Raw materials, minerals, especially. But remember, they're not in the food. So your joints start to lose their structural integrity, not because you have a bad gene, not because you're getting older, not because you have a voodoo curse. It's because your joints have lost the nutrients they need to maintain their structural integrity, and they break. No different than your automobile. If your engine needs six quarts of oil and you've only got one, the engine's going to seize. And there was nothing mechanically wrong with the engine. The welds were good. The pistons were good. Everything was good. Didn't have enough oil, though. Well, when your joints run out of raw material, they start to break, too. But the MDs, again, remember, it's not their job to fix it. Nor is it their job to understand the neopathogenesis of the, of the problem. It's their job to manage it. So they give pain medication, anti-inflammatory, pain medication, anti-inflammatory, until it gets so bad that you need joint replacement surgery. And you watch what they're going, the inevitable end of this road is preventive knee replacement, right? Because it's only a matter of time till your knees go. It's only a matter of time till your hips go. So before you know it, we're going to be like the Borg on Star Trek, right? Half machine, half biologic and it's insanity. Um, helping people have healthy bones and joints is one of the easiest things to do with medical nutrition. Because remember, your body wants to fix itself. Your body knows how to fix itself. Your body is attempting to optimize its structure and function. But your body needs help. It needs raw materials to do that, in which 
which means that it is mandatory. Mandatory. It is not optional. It is mandatory for everybody on planet Earth to supplement their diet with the 90 essential nutrients. You must be taking vitamin supplements. You must be taking mineral supplements. You must be taking amino acids and essential fatty acids sufficient to the cause. And if you do not, it is only a matter of time until something breaks. And then what do you do? You go to the only medical practice that your insurance pays for. You go to the only medical profession that's legally allowed to practice medicine in your state, the MDs, and they throw a drug at it. And the drugs manage the problem. And interestingly enough, how do the drugs work? They push biochemical pathways. They upregulate biochemical pathways. What are the biochemical pathways made out of? Minerals, vitamins, amino acids, essential fatty acids. So the longer you're on a drug, the greater your nutrient deficiencies become and the more of a drug you need. And then you need drug number two and drug number three. And then you die. And then your relatives are so grief-stricken and they don't know any better, they organize a 5K run to find a cure for arthritis on your behalf and they give the money to the MDs. We all collectively need our freaking heads examined.